Hello everyone. In this Power Automate session, we will discuss how we can create an approval flow with Microsoft Forms. So to create an approval flow with Microsoft Forms, we need to integrate the form with Power Automate. Then this allows us to automate the approval process based on the response received in the Microsoft Form. So for this, we need to set up the trigger and action to streamline and manage the approval efficiently within our workflow. See the example where we will use approval flow with Microsoft Forms. So this is the example of the approval flow with Microsoft Forms device request workflow. So when a user or requester submit a device request in Microsoft Form, the response details we will enter into the SharePoint list that is the device request list. Next, we will send an approval request to the releasing officer of devices once the releasing officer accepts the approval request then we will send an approved email to the requester else we will send an rejected email to the requester so now let's see how we can implement this workflow in microsoft power automate so this is my microsoft power automate i will show you the employee device request form so this is the employee device request form it having column like employee id number employee name department device type date reason for request if anything else you want to add you can add it here next the request device details will be stored in the sharepoint list so this is the sharepoint list which having the title column employee name department device type requested date reason for request releasing official name we will add and the status of the requested device so now we will create the flow so for this we will navigate to the microsoft power automate and then click on create and click on automated cloud flow so here provide the flow name as approval flow with microsoft form next click on when a new response is submitted in the microsoft form then only the flow will trigger so click on create button now i will switch to classic designer so here i will provide the form id that is employee device request form and i will get the response details so for this i will add one action get response detail action search for get response details action here you can see the get response detail action click on it and provide the form id that is employee device request form and select the response id from the dynamic content next we will create item in the sharepoint list so for this i will search for create item action here you can see the create item action so here we will provide the site address it is TS Infotech developer and provide the list name requested device. Now we can provide the title that is employee ID number, provide the employee name, department value, select enter custom value. From here, we will select the department value, device type value, enter custom value. Here you can select the device type from dynamic content, requested date you can search for date reason for request you can select from the day and releasing officer claims will be hari priya dhal let's say and status value will be pending later we will update once the flow will process so we will create the item now we will send an approval so for this i will search for approval connector for an approval select this start and wait for an approval action from here select first to respond now provide the title so here i will select device type requested by employee name assigned to i will provide the assigned to name as hari priya dhal select hari priya dhal also you can provide the details and the item link so here i will provide this much and the next step i will check for the approval status so for this i will add one condition action select the condition action choose a value that is outcome is equal to approve then click on add an action we will send an email to the requester that your request is approved so for this send an email v2 action 
So here we will select the email address, employee name, email, and provide the subject. Device request is approved. Provide the body. Your device request is approved. Please collect it from the office. And next step, we will update the item. So for this, I will search for update item action. Select the update item action. And here we will provide the site address, TSN for tech developer and list name is the requested device and select the ID and at the end of this we will change the status value to approve. Similarly, we will do for if the request is rejected. So I will send an email. So for this I will copy this email to my clipboard and I will copy this one also to my clipboard and I will go to the my clipboard and I will select send an email v2 action next click on new step and I will add update item action so click on here and here we will provide the subject of device request rejected also we will change the body Similarly, we will change the update item status. We will change the status value as rejected. So our flow is now ready. Now we will save this flow. Once the flow is saved, click on test button, then click on manually, then click on test button. Now go to the Microsoft form. Go to the preview option. Here we will click on start now option. Here I will provide my employee ID. Let's say TS0012 employee name. Let's say Pia Girl Department. Let's say Development Device type is Laptop. Date select the date that is let's say 12. Reason for request the given laptop is not working submit the form once we submit the form our flow starts running it created the item in the sharepoint list if i will go to the sharepoint list you can see here the item get created in the sharepoint list now we it sent the approval request to us if i will go to the outlook i got the request you can see here approval request laptop requested by Dal. If I will approve this request and let's say approve and click on submit. Now we have approved the request. Now we will go back to the Power Automate. You can see our flow runs successfully and we got the email. You can see the email. The device request is approved. Please collect it from the office. So this is how we can create approval flow with Microsoft Form. That's all for today. We will see you on next video. We will see some of the examples like how we can create Power Automate flow with Serpent List. We will see some of the examples in the coming session. Thank you so much.